Hey guys, Clayson here with a Path of Exile video. Welcome to my hideout. This is something you can make after you've leveled up these forbid er yes, Forsaken Masters. Is what this current expansion is all about. It's Path of Exile. It is the other main game I play. I do enjoy it. It's fun, it's an ARPG like Diablo 2. It's actually quite like Diablo 2. And it is really good. Now, actual ARPG gameplay isn't that interesting, so probably I might skip some of it once we get going, unless I do have interesting things to say over it. Anyway, what I'm doing in this video is showing off Braum. Or at least that's why I've named the character, because I am using a shield and I am punching things because of these items right here, face breakers. What they do is they troll you with the critical strike multiplier. Unarmed attacks cannot get criticals. And then reduced enemy stun thresholds, they get stunned more. Yeah, Braum does have the stun passive. And it the more unarmed physical damage is the big draw of these. So when I'm not using a weapon, I hit things quite hard. So what we'll do is we will go into an area and do that. And we will go into a very particular area. In Path of Exile, everything is an item. Here's my stash, I've got a bunch of stuff all, all over. But what is important are maps. Maps are items. Yes areas in the game can be items. Like items, you can modify them, because they are items. So we'll upgrade a normal item to a magic item. When you use that on a map, you'll make the area harder for some benefit. This is monster pack size, which is its own benefit. Monsters will drop more loot. However, every blue item can have a prefix and a suffix, so let's add the suffix to it with one of these. Yeah, this is a good map. So we've got item quantity, totems, I forget what those actually drop loot, but they up the quantity for having them. Then the monster pack size, this is a good map to run. You may notice there's no gold in the game. You have these things, which modify items like you saw, and they get used up. That's why players use trade. If you How may I be of assistance, vendor, Exile? Then you can sell them for stuff and you buy items with the currency. Uh, Zana, what do you have for me? That's tempting, but I don't want to get rid of my orbs of chance. Hoping to get lucky with a unique item. Oh well, let's just go How and may I the be map. of assistance, Exile? So we go to our map device, which we've located. Oh yes, fun fact about hideouts, you can, in fact, arrange things, move stuff around. Okay, so, go to the map device, put it in. I don't know exactly what these things you could choose to do. I know this one adds these, like, bosses modeled after the player. This one, I think, makes monsters attack faster and gives you quantity. And this is probably has something to do with shrines. You'll see it later. This isn't really the most beginner friendly video, but anyway, so here we go. Running a tropical island map. Since I've leveled Zon up a little bit, I've got free item quantity, don't have to pay anything for it added to this map. So I'll end up with 16% more items than normal. So let's go. Portals. I could make some joke, but I don't know what to say. It's a loading screen, so I better think of something. Um, that vortex may look a little like a cake, but the cake is a... No, I'm not going to finish that. Okay. Type a dollar sign for your chat message to talk in trade chat. Do not go to trade chat. It is... It will drive you insane. I don't trade much. Like... I think the only thing I've traded for on this league is the Facebreaker Unique and 
this belt. And the only reason I have this belt is because it adds flat physical damage. And on the unarmed build with the phase breakers, you want lots of flat physical damage. Okay, so I've got my normal punch, but then I have my right click ability, Infernal Blow. Boom. I've got supported with Melee Splash, Infernal Strike, some other stuff. So, loot is dropping. I'm looking to see if anything fun drops. I've got a curse, which gives me life and mana leech when I hit the curse things. There's a lot of skills going on, and they're supported by so many things. So we've got tar zombies. We've got skeletons. My mana is gone. My mana is gone. Got a curse. As totem is giving all near my monsters more fire damage, but I'm okay because. If I'm not mistaken, I have all my resistances maxed out. Yep. Especially fire damage. Eventually I'll show you the tree. Probably when we get to the space between areas of this map. And dying totem. So now I can kill all the other things. Ooh, a siege axe. I normally chance those, but I'm saving it for the nicer bows. You see, the yellow monster has a lot of mod modifiers. Uh, no, I don't want those. Uh, so, yeah, this is most what RPGs are. It's just walking along, killing things. When I punch things and manage to kill with Infernal Blow, they explode. This is a very defensive build. Its clear speed's a little bit low. You can see my health on the lower left. I have quite a good deal of life leech going on. Especially when I remember to do the curse. I don't want to miss too many monsters, and there are a lot of monsters. Whenever I'm seeing currency, I'm picking it up. You see it from the loot drops as the God bless you on this around. fine day, exile. Hey, one of the Forsaken Masters. It's actually the same one I started the hideout with. I do want to get him leveled up. Okay, so I'm just going to clear out the nearby area with one of the special perks of the League, the Rampage bonuses. Give me different little Nova effects as long as I keep killing things with less than five seconds between. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of ores going on either from the rare monsters because I have pack size going on, so there's more monsters. Or you'll see the totems giving off ores. Yeah, I probably got the space and air aileron mostly cleared out. A lot of things are going to keep wandering in. Uh, should probably use one of my other abilities. Oh yeah, there's a proximity shield, so. Put up a searing bond totem. Does fire damage to things walking through the laser. It's not the most efficient thing ever with this build, but it's something. I might as well have the totem out doing damage. My mana is gone. As long as I have the mana for it. The Marauder does not have good mana options. Oh, I am taking some damage from that. So I'm using my potions. They refill some when you kill monsters. And one of my abilities sort of charges up by killing monsters. Sort of like an ultimate ability. 
You'll see, because I'm about to go back to Elrion and do his thing. And I might as well level up my skills. This, 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 and that. Yep. I think I missed this totem. Okay. Back to Elrion. Eh, I probably didn't skip any monsters. Okay. I'm in the mood for some smiting. He's kind of How about you? This here island of... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, defend this thing for monsters. I have to kill 50 of them in the circle, so I'm going to go... Wait, why do I not have... Did I get interrupted while casting that? Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, halfway done. Kill the exploders before they... Do a bunch of damage by exploding. Almost got them all. Okay. And... It's also them, Crusader! Level, not much. Ugh. Already I'm on level 6. There's 8 levels total. Oh well. Look. This. Elemental resistance. I'm using a mostly fire damage attack. Look at that's a diamond shrine, so I'm taking critical hits from things near this. Kill that. Oh yes, my XP bar is almost full. There's a certain reason I waited this long for this video. So I wanted to show something special. I'm almost there. In fact, the next couple monsters I do will probably level me. I've completed three out of four challenges. Or three out of eight total. I'm about to get the fourth. Attain character level 65 with each class in the Rampage or Beyond Legs is challenge. Can't still counts even if character dies after reaching level 65. Marauder is the only one missing. Please don't let me. Okay. Now. And let's get that last level. Bubbles and funny sometimes. Yes, there's my fourth challenge. I'll probably turn off the chat here in a second. I'll show you more of the passive tree after I get to the stopping point. Da -da -da. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Put that off. Just keep the lag down because I have no idea what will end up lagging me with this video recording going on. Okay, yeah, here's the sort of halfway point of the map. So, the passive tree. Looks complicated, doesn't it? It looks really complicated, doesn't it? Yeah. This is what drew me into Path of Exile. I started at Marauder. Each of the classes start at different points in the tree. They start, you can put off, start going in different directions. I put one node here just because it's an efficient node. But I mainly went up the life and armor, life regen, more life, shields. And then I went up here, th through to some life leech, more life, resolute technique. Remember how I said an arm attacks could not critical strike. This node has an upside and a downside. Your hits can't be evaded, so I don't care about my accuracy. But I can't deal critical strikes, just like I couldn't to begin with. So I've gone up here towards the Templar stuff. I've got some life here. I'll probably get the rest of this life. Got some intelligence nodes. More shield stuff, more life. I'll probably get this last node next. In fact, yes, let's get that. Life and resistance to chaos damage. Chaos damage is normally pretty hard to resist. Got up here through shields. Got more life, more life regen. Area of effect stuff. So I'm using melee splash, infernal blow, so things explode. So that is a good node for me. Somewhat tempted to get the more radius, but I'll put it off. I might guess up through here, armor and life regeneration, but my armor actually is not that high. Some stuff to help out my mana issues, more stuff to regenerate mana and life. 
more life. I'll probably go up here. You're noticing a, a lot of life in this build. I don't really like more of a mix. I've got some attack speed, some resistances. Yeah. And I got here for one dexterity note just because I needed dexterity. So that's the passive tree. There's a lot you can do with it. Have fun picking what I want to do. But basically what you'll want to do with the passive tree is decide on an offense, a defense, and then get nodes to help it out. In practice it's less complicated than it looks. My mana is gone. But just how it looks is so overwhelming that just drew me into the game. I knew I was going to have a lot of fun developing builds and stuff. There is no one best build in this game. It's pretty well balanced. Although I do have a lot of fun with Arc and yeah, Arc as a spell when I do mages and then my favorite is archers though. What I'm probably going to try to level up more beyond this with is with my archer character. I have one in hardcore. This right here I'm playing on is the softcore league rampage. The hardcore league is rough. Because when you kill enough things together a bunch of really hard enemies will spawn. And when you're in hardcore and really hard enemies spawn, you don't really want that. But in softcore I just get bonuses for killing things fast. So, that's what I'm going to do. Well, if my tank build didn't make this so slow. Yeah, can use potion to move faster. I love that. Okay, my molten shell is charged. I use that next rough pack. I see, maybe against the boss. This pack. Here we go. And I got interrupted casting it. Why did I not grab the cannot be stunned node? That is the one annoying thing about spellcasting, big stuff like that. Ooh. Lots of blue, blue monsters. Ooh, chromatic item. When you have red, green, and blue linked together, you can trade that for a chromatic orb. I'm not seeing many good items. I got. There haven't even been any rares. I'm mostly just getting unlucky. Normally I would have several rares by now. Yeah, I could probably show off more of the gear I'm using. So the gear I'm using. I managed to get lucky and got a five link chest plate and then I upgraded that and got lucky with those rolls. Well, flat physical damage on my rings and stuff. This amulet was just too good. It is a great amulet. And why do I have an ab abyssal scepter in my offhand? Well to reduce the magic resistance of nearby people of course. No really it's told this to gem empower. This is one of the more valuable gems, you just want to level, and it levels up in the off-slots. Oh, yes, gems. Speaking of how everything in the item, everything in the game is an item. Well, here's a, another map. But the skills are items. Yes. The infernal Blow I'm talking about is slotted into gear, and you can remove it. Just out it goes, and now I can't use Infernal Strike. I put it in, have all my other support gems. I'm taking damage, so I'll just fight this. Uh, Harbinger bows are kind of what I want. Or Imperial bows or Spine bows. Not the Quilted Jacket. Is pretty worthless for me. 
Maybe some evasion gear. Because I do want to level 9 archer next. And that one's full evasion. Yeah, I'm getting some semi valuable gem. Or, yeah, currency orbs. Nothing too crazy, but. Eh. This is pretty alright map so far. I got the. Grotto map back, I think it was. That is a good map. Uh, yep. I do enjoy that map. That, Tropical Island, and Dried Lake are my favorites from the level 66 maps. I guess one slight downside of Path of Exile is the desync. The netcode isn't the greatest, and sometimes, sometimes things just get out of synchronization. And when that happens, go to semi-chat, put in the command slash OOS for out of sync, and it will snap you back to where you actually are on the server. And yay, I got another good map, speaking of which, the same one I'm running. I should be getting to the end of this. Um, I don't know what else did I want to cover. Uh, that's not the boss of this map. The boss of this map. Oh yeah, every map has a boss. The boss of this map is one of these big monkeys that summons other monkeys and he has like double auras and stuff and hits hard himself. Did I accidentally disable one of my... Yes, I did. My mana is gone. And I swear, one of these times, I'm going to actually cast the Vol Molten Shell. All the Vol Gems have that sort of charge mechanic to it. I actually started this build as a dominating blow marauder with the Phase Breakers. Where I punch things, I kill them, and then they turn to my side for a duration. That's why I'm using a duration-based volume. Plus it gives me armor, and I do need the armor in critical situations. Because I don't have much on this character. I mean, I have some from the gear, but I'm not getting any from my gloves. That's a tiny amount of evasion energy shield. Which is not very useful for this character. Come on, am I going to get any rare items? That's pretty crazy. So yeah, normal items have no modifiers. Sometimes they have intrinsics, which is every item that kind has. They have quality, which makes their physical damage or whatever higher. A mass have bought quality, it gives you more item quantity. I don't have that much quantity on this map, but I do have a lot of stuff to kill, which should be indirectly giving me a bunch of items, but I'm just getting kind of lucky with it. Random numbers are random numbers. I think that... no, that's just another totem. Yeah, the boss gives off auras. These snakes throw on the green spit, but that is chaos damage. Most characters have to be super careful of that because it's just hard to get much of it. Much of the resistance to it. But I do have some chaos resistance. And tons of life on this character. And of course there's people that have super crazy gear and trade all the time. Oh yes, this is the boss. Ah, that hurt. Yeah, put that up, this up, and then... Yes! It, now every time something hits me while I have this up, it'll explode and keep staying there. 
doing damage to things around me. My mana is gone. And it's over. Finally, some rares. Nothing I can use. I might be able to use that, probably not. Okay. This is a skill gem, but I already have a couple of copies of it, so I'm just going to skip it. And this should be the end of the map here. I might have missed the monsters, I don't know. Other commands remaining. Wow, I really did miss some monsters. I'm going to go back and find them, because I don't want to miss that many. A couple I don't mind, but I want all the chance for loot drops that I can get. This map wasn't very good on the rare items, but I did get two maps back. Although I wish some of those were 67 maps. Yes. A map can only drop in a map of the same level unless you kill a blue monster, in which case it drops one level higher. Or a rare monster, in which case it drops two levels higher. And that's how you progress up the map system. Getting higher and higher level maps. Here's a blue zombie. Like, if he dropped a map, it could be... Ooh, Imperial though. If he dropped a map, it could have been a 67. Okay, seriously, where are most of the monsters I missed? Because I don't know how I missed over 20 on the way here. I know how I missed some, because I wasn't thoroughly taking my time clearing everything. Da -da -da. And I'm out of flat, the Quicksilver Flash, so I can't run very fast. That's not very fun. Hello, Elrion. That is a lot of gore. There we go. Oh, yes, it's a monkey, so of course there's a ton of them. Uh, yeah, this should be it for this map. Let me check. Two monsters. Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's use portal scroll, go back to my hideout, and we'll tally up the results of that map. Yes, hold you on wish up. to speak with me. I will be selling this to you for a chromatic. These all if I sell them unidentified, it's for transmutations. But I want. Mm, that's kinda decent, but I don't really want it. Alterations. I even got an alchemy shard out of that. Nope, not gonna be needing that. That gets me more alteration shards. Okay, that's that. And then there's some more stuff I wanna do. If I get lucky here and this turns into a lionized glare. Random rarity could be blue, could bl could be yellow. It's like a one in hundreds chance of. Let's just do it. Eat. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good flat roll. Ooh. Hmm. I kind of want it to craft attack speed on that. Can I even do that? Nope. Okay, now do I, do I want to just get lucky with this. I hope I get lucky with this. Come yeah, on. Uh huh. That was terrible. Yay, a tiny amount of accuracy and light radius. Okay, that is junk. What can I do for you, Exile? Alteration shards, and let's go store all this in the stash. Transmutations, transmutations, chromatics. A chisel was pretty good. Those upgrade maps. I need to organize my sash. That way. That way. That way. This, 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 and this. Yeah, I had enough for a full upgrade to an orb of alchemy. Now the maps. 
Grotto map is fun. I have a rare run out of an unidentified Dried Lake map I might run later. That's on 67 maps, 68 maps. I've even got all the way up to the 69s, 70s. I think, yeah, 72s. It goes up to 78, at which point you can corrupt a map and you might get a 79 map, but you can only get that way. Oh yeah, and then there's the bonus boss of Doom if you get all four pieces of these. So that's it for this video. I have something good lined up in Leaf of Legends, I think, for you. Hopefully I can do that. So, see you in the next one, guys.